what is that? Sticking out of the water there. Looks like it's a bow stick pointing up. Gotta check it out. Ah, uh, looks like it's an old Cuban boat. Cuban boat that done sunk. Or at least half of one. Well, that's pretty deep here. Get closer here. Oh no, I could start seeing it going down. Ugh. Yeah, it's an old Cuban. Ooh, look at all the bait on there. Lots of bait. Ooh, it goes pretty far down there. Well, I hope they made it. Water's dirty. Any big fishes on it yet? Any name? What's your name? Okay, so the Coast Guard has already checked it out. So eventually a uh, recovery company has to come out and remove it eventually when they get money. All right, moving on. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I keep going and going and going and it never stops. I can't even get a bait in the water. These are all permit. Those are all permit right there. All right, I see schools of permit coming towards me. And I'm not ready. Now I'm ready. Quiet. You can see the little dimples there. There are some big ones out there as well. Come on, baby. Yep, they're there. What do I have? All right. Let them come to me. There they are. Another big school. I ran into a bunch as I was coming around the corner. I kept running into them, but spooked them out all right they're staying in that one spot so I'm going to paddle up to them not use the anchor and just hope I can sit without scaring them they're straight at 12 o'clock there just a the little ripple there There they are. There they are. Now those little dimples are just the tips of their tails. Stealth mode. Stealth mode paddling. I'm coming with the sun to my back, so that might be helpful. There they are right there. One more paddle. That should be close enough. Oh, they're over there. All right, this goes down. Oh. 
Ooh, right on their head. Looking at it, it's right over it. Oh, that spooked them. You can see them going that way there. Kind of made a loop. Thought he was turning around to go see it, but that little spash said, not today, not today. All right. Wait for more tails to pop up. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Gorgeous day here in the Florida Keys, above water. On top of the water, it's a weed fest. And I can't fish this. I was wanting to do some cuda tubing, but as soon as it hits the water, it grabs weeds. So I've been looking for some cleaner water. Ran into a bunch of permit along this flats here, a lot of them. Uh, I was just cutting across, trying to find the clean side if there was one, but I just ran into just schools of permit over and over again. So that's something I could play with in the short term. Hopefully these weeds start slowing down and I could find some pockets. There was a couple of boats on the other side of this island, and I think they were using it as a weed protector as well, but I think they were leaving. And it's kind of a higher tide right now, so I'm kind of waiting for it to drop anyways. So I've got a little bit of free time, but... That is our plan. Oh, there's a permit right in that sand hole. Dang it, Oscar. There's a cuda and a permit. Yeah, he's sitting right in there in that pocket. See him there? Oh, turn around. Oh, there's a couple of them. See them anymore. Oh, weeds. Oh, dang it. Figured there was kudas in there, but it was two permit. Well, I made the run out to the Gulf looking for that kind of uh, underwater peninsula that's just sticking up out here, but the tide is like really high, so it's not showing. Um, usually I have, if it's somewhat lower, there's at least a little bit of an upswelling and at low tide it's actually exposed, but I'm not, I can't see anything. Usually when it's manageable, there would even be like birds kind of hanging around it. Or usually there would be crab pots or lobster pots kind of running along the edge of it, but nothing. Plus the weeds are going as far as I can see, so I thought maybe I can get on the outside of it, but that ain't gonna happen. There was that nice channel that runs along the edge of that little peninsula, so I could have done some other stuff there, but it's just nothing I can do out here. So we'll head back in and wait for the sun to go, wait for the tide to drop, and then just kind of see what we can see. So plan C. All right, we'll do this Hail Mary spot. Looking for a cuda here. In between all these weeds. And weeds. Oh, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna, look at that. I can't work under these conditions. I'm going to talk to my labor union. Oh, that thing. What the hell is that? It's a weird tail. What is that? That's not a nurse shark. Huh, what was that? Hmm. Maybe like a Goliath swimming out in the open? All right, we're pretty much almost done here. I'm just kind of waiting it out. It's just too nice of a day to call it in early, so I'm just hanging out, looking for a Hail, Mail, Hail Mary school of uh, dumb young permit to swim by. But yeah, today was just a no-go. Um, pretty much the weeds killed me. I mean, it's still just weeds. I mean, I thought I could wait it out. I thought I could go past 
the outside and get past them, but it just never stopped. Um, that it, it's high tide during the, the whole day, the whole evening here. So it really didn't uh, give me a chance at really sight fishing. And then it's just, it gets so, it gets uh, dark so early for me. I don't get to start fishing till one and it's pitch black dark by five. So the sight fishing thing is just not really, I've got like a couple of hours between like one and three to try to get on some fish. But what it is a good thing is it kind of draws that line that I need to change my fishing style, adapt to the circumstances. And that means to kind of convert to more chumming and drifting baits back, whether live baits, dead baits, cut baits, and kind of going at it like that. Um, even like circumstances like this, these weeds are gonna be out for here for a while. So that's gonna kind of kill the inshore fishery for any type of lures. But if I had chum and bait, I could go along a channel, I could go along the islands and chum stuff up along the bottom and they don't care what's up on top. And I'm not casting into the weeds, I'm dropping the bait back and drifting it back. So it wouldn't affect me. So that's kind of what I have to adjust to. So we'll kind of, kind of have to force me to start to adapt here. So I'll keep an eye out on those kind of changes. All right, time to fire up the old freezer. my potato chum net. All right, get this guy plugged in. All right, we are back from hurricane preparedness and time to get to some winter fishing, chumming and bait drifting. So get this thing cooled down. All righty. But uh, otherwise, I'm just kind of hanging out here. You can see all these dimples. Those are all um, pilchards. They're just surrounding me all along here. Uh, this edge, you can kind of start seeing it, but it's still way too high the fish can kind of go back and forth where later on this will almost be exposed so they'll start running along this edge but it's still i'm not going to make it the sun's going to go down before i get to that point but you never know so we're going to hail mary it it's such a beautiful evening out here so no reason to cut it out early